Okay, so one of the things I get asked, like, literally all the time is, can I speak in a British accent? Well, the answer is absolutely freaking not. I am atrocious at it, and I would just be an embarrassment to myself should I try. But, for your entertainment, I'm going to attempt to tell you a story in my finest British accent, which will still be, like I said, pretty bad. Now, there's numerous accents I can attempt to try, you know, from like, you know, a Dick Van Dykean Cockney accent. <laughs> But I think I'm just, you know, gonna stick with the posh accent because I've been told that's the one I do the best. I think I took this one off my best friend who's a solicitor and uh, I've just been mimicking her, but um, in a very bad way, so here we go. <laughs> So I'm going to tell you the story about how I came to live in Brighton. For the record, I was originally born in Miami and I had come on holiday to Brighton uh, about six years ago with the intention that I was just coming for a short visit, maybe about two, three weeks, but instead it became the rest of my life. So the way that occurred was my husband, which is Bastian, uh, back then, back when we were very briefly dating, we had met in Las Vegas and he had invited me out to England to come visit him. And he was living here, so I decided to take a trip and after a couple of weeks of getting to know each other, the relationship became quite serious and incredibly quickly, which I know sounds rather odd, but that's exactly what happened. And I then decided to stay, which seems easier on paper than one might imagine because what actually starts to happen is that uh, you need to have your visa situation sorted out and I know I've mentioned this several times that I'm working on this but uh, the first time I did it was actually quite a big pain in the ass by which I mean it was also very expensive I had to prove that me and Bastian were in a sustainable relationship is the term they used which they prefer that you be dating for at least two years. Now, at the time of our application, me and Bastian had only been dating for about four to six months. So it was quite a fun experience trying to prove to the home office that me and Bastian were very serious and we absolutely needed to stay together. So uh, we did succeed in that, but it was a very long an arduous process, which again I am repeating in order to get my permanent residency. The reason we perhaps stayed in Brighton in particular is because Brighton is a very fun and interesting little town in which people for the most part can be very open-minded and artsy, which I enjoy because I enjoy the arts and I am a very creative person. But, uh, me and Bastian, once when we both smoked quite a lot of weed, we discovered uh, on Gumtree, which is the British version of Craigslist, that there was this old Victorian home, it was about 150 years old, and, and the thing was just falling apart. But it was quite large, and in you know very good location, and for a very reasonable price. So for these reasons, we decided that uh, we would buy the house, and we have spent the past three and a half years renovating the whole house, which has been quite the long process. But another reason we decided to stay in Brighton is, of course, because I made friends with people in Brighton. Um, after about a year of living here, I decided to go to the University of Sussex and do a postgraduate degree. I did a graduate diploma in law, which I have refused to use ever since because what the hell's the goddamn point? I do not even ever use law, except for the occasional moment where I am actually uh, filling out a couple of contracts. That might be the reason for why I remember using the bit of law that I know. So, with that being said, um, the law the, the law that I know, um, actually, let's not talk about that anymore. University of Sussex, that's finished. Um, so what started to happen then is that uh, I made all these friends because I started to make film, which I very much enjoy making film. So, um, because of these reasons, I think that's why I stayed in Brighton. I became, so, you know, so happy living here. Um, I'm close to the sea, which is lovely. You can see the sea every day. Um, it's apparently the brightest place in all of England. Though that isn't very hard to imagine because all of England is very cloudy and overcast most of the time. 
I bet this accent sounds quite atrocious, and um, I look forward to your cruel and evil comments in the comment section. So that is all for now. Um, ta ta, I suppose. If you have any other ideas for my advent calendar, you are welcome to leave them in the comments or follow me on Facebook. Or if you have not done this yet, uh, please tick the notification box because every time I'm sending these videos out to my subscribers, they are not getting them. So you tell me if uh, you are actually getting these videos because I do not believe that is actually happening considering the low view count I am actually getting. But Perhaps my videos are just boring as shit now. So that's about it. Um, did I do a decent job or is this absolute garbage? Well, I'll find out when I listen to myself back. Ta ta!